lovelies welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be reviewing another very very popular skincare product and the product is the cosorex advanced snail 96 mucin power essence i've used this product for a couple of months on and off so i think i'm ready to come and share my own two cents about it so without further ado let's get into the video an essence is a concentrated skincare formula that targets fine lines, dull skin and wrinkles and essences are known to target skin on a cellular level. With Korean essences, they're known to contain an active form of an ingredient that increases your skin's natural cell turnover rate. Essences are usually thinner in consistency compared to serums and moisturizers, so they're able to penetrate better and more deeply into the skin. The regular use of an essence leads to smoother and brighter skin. With essences, it's best to apply them after a toner before your other skincare products. So a toner is known to help balance out your skin's pH, whereas an essence adds a step of hydration into the skin and helps every other skincare product you're about to apply absorb better because just think about it hydrated skin is more likely to absorb skincare products better than dry skin however an essence is not an essential part of the skincare routine however it does add that extra step or that extra layer of hydration which will be like most beneficial for those of us who suffer from dehydrated skin or dry skin this Cosorex Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Pyrocins claims to help with improving the elasticity of your skin whilst working to even out your complexion. Snail Mucin is also known as an ingredient which helps to soothe and repair dry skin whilst also helping to calm and reduce your blemishes. The main ingredient in this essence is snail filtrate, so it's got 96% snail mucin filtrate. Snail mucin is the sticky mucus that snails leave behind when they are moving and it consists mainly of chondroitin, also known scientifically as chondroitin sulfate. Chondroitin sulfate is a glycosaminoglycan found in the extracellular matrix of your cell and it helps in various biological processes such as with cell proliferation and migration. Before I carry on explaining what chondroitin sulfate is, I just want to explain what glycosaminoglycans are. So glycosaminoglycans, also known as GAGs, are long unbranched polysaccharides made up of a repeating disaccharide unit. So they are involved in many biological processes such as binding, growth factors, cytokines and they also promote water retention and two very popular GAGs is chondroitin sulfate A and B and hyaluronic acid, a very 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 popular skincare ingredient used to increase the hydration of your skin by promoting your skin's ability to retain water. Back to what chondroitin sulfate is, apart from being a very good ingredient at helping your skin to retain water, it stimulates your blood vessels by promoting blood to the area, it helps your skin appear more radiant. So I'm going to look down for this part because I can't remember all the notes of head but in one of the papers I read they investigated the effect of chondroitin sulfate on regeneration of the skin and skin aging. They studied the effect of chondroitin sulfate on proliferation of keratinocytes which is the primary cell type found in the epidermis which is the outermost layer of the skin as well as fibroblast which is the type of cell that helps to synthesize collagen. One of the things they found is that chondroitin sulfate stimulated the proliferation of fibroblasts and keratinocytes. Further analysis also revealed that chondroitin sulfate helps to promote the expression of type 1 collagen by activating a specific cell signaling pathway. Therefore, in conclusion, using a full healthy wound healing skin model as well as an aged skin wound healing model, they were able to conclude that chondroitin sulfate treatment will help with promoting skin regeneration and reducing the rate at which which the skin ages. From my research, what I found specific to Cosorex as a brand is that what they do is that they place the snails on a mesh surface, they turn up the light and this creates a preferable condition for the snails as they are naturally nocturnal animals and they just let the snails roam free over the net for 30 minutes and whilst the snails are roaming free they leave a tray of mucin as they are moving and this snail mucin is then collected and this modified and then processed to make 
the snail using found in this essence. In no external stresses are applied to the snails because this would lead to the snails producing a toxin which would then make the mucin not safe to apply to the skin. So yeah, you don't need to worry about, you know, the snails being tortured or being stressed to collect the snail mucin. How I use it is, like I said at the beginning, I use it after my toner and I apply it to the skin. I pat it into the skin whilst my face is still damp. I then go ahead and apply the rest of my skincare routine. And what I found with this product is that it pairs really well with all the other skincare products I use it with and I've not experienced any peeling with it, which is A1. Although it does leave like a sticky, slightly tacky feel to the skin after you apply everything on top the feeling literally like it disappears and it leaves a really nice glow to the skin like your skin just looks really nice and glowy and not only glowy but your skin is also very hydrated and very plump it doesn't have a strong scent at all and it hasn't irritated my skin although it claims to help with reducing blemishes i don't really use it for that specific purpose so i've not really focused on its effect on like any breakouts i've had however i definitely have noticed a difference in the brightness and radiance of my skin when i do use it my skin definitely does look brighter my complexion does definitely look more even you can use it both morning and evening there's no recommended time and sometimes i also use it as a leave-on mask like for example when i've washed my face so i'm not ready to do my skincare routine or i'm washing my hair so i don't want to do a skincare routine but i don't want to leave my face you know dry i just leave it on as a mask and it literally just hydrates my skin so those were my thoughts on the product would i recommend it absolutely however like i said it's not a necessity but if you're a skincare fan you want to try out a new ingredient and it's like you just want that extra step of hydration definitely give it a go comment down below if you guys have given it a try and you know how you guys have gotten on with it make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will catch you guys in my next video bye